So this is a third movie by Kenneth Brainer, and unlike the first two, the Orient Express one and the Nile one, this one I actually enjoyed this far more better than those two. Now here's the thing: I go into his movies for one major thing: the shots. All his movies have like super beautiful shot. I think that these three movies are some of the most cinematic movies that we have just in terms of how they shoot the locations and make the location look and feel. So yeah, I was excited to go into this, not for the story, not for the investigation, not for the discovery, not for the twists, but for the visuals. This time, our main character Peru was in uh, Venus. He, Ten years later, after the events of whatever happened in the Nile, this is uh, post Second World War, so he has retired, in quotes, and so he meets this uh, writer who's not, you know, she's struggling. And, and, and so she invites him to one of the events because she wants him to prove that one of the people who's doing a seance is a fake. But then things happen, the person who's supposed to do that, of course he investigates and he does his discoveries. And then when he discovers or whatever he's discover, he, 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 he discovers something happens to that person who was doing whatever she was doing, played by Michelle Young. I don't want to spoil it for people. Then after now, that happened, everything just snowballs, you know? And uh, if you are to, without spoiling it for people, this is supposed to have a sense of supernaturalism. Uh, it's supposed to have a touch of, you know, the haunting part, because it's called a haunting in Venus. The haunting part is also there, but you know, this is, of course, Peru is on the case, and you know things are discovered. But I liked the fa I liked how they were able to handle the supernatural part of this particular story, and I was also astonished by how much things just the, how many twists and turns were there, and they were legit, and they were unexpected. A lot of them I couldn't see what was going to come, and some of them were you no know, were understandable. Understand what one particular character did in terms of the daughter and whatever happens and her, you know, there, there is a story, there is a daughter-mother story somewhere and I loved just how much, you know, these things just caught me off guard. So that's one aspect that probably you would enjoy about this movie. It's not, I wouldn't give it what IMDb has given it. I wouldn't give it a 6 out of 10. I would give this more of a 7.5 out of 10. It, it's, it's, not, it's not perfect because at, ti at times it feels really slow. But when now the super supernatural elements are introduced and the way the cinematographer chooses to shoot some scenes, you find yourself engaged and you find yourself entertained. So a hunting in Venus, according to me, and for the visuals, I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Venus is beautiful. Post Second World Venus looks fantastic. It's very well shot. Uh, the cinematographer uses the camera very, very well with the haunting scenes and the dark scenes. He does a fantastic job. So just for the cinematography, and that's the reason that I went in, I'll give it a 5 out of 5. For now, the movie itself, everything outside production, I'll give it more of a 3 out of 5. It's still very enjoyable. The performances are... I, 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 I didn't look at the performances because I was so, you know, consumed by the story. And the characters actually sold their characters so well that I was consumed by the story and I forgot that they were actually acting. So they did a very good job, a very good job in terms of performance. So it's a 3 out of 5. Um, if you come across this in the cinemas, it's worth your money. Why? For the visuals. And also the sound design. The sound design is also really, really good. And the score, it's, it's, it's effective. And it's actually worth your money in the big screens. So basically that's it. That's uh, reviewing a haunting uh, in Venus. It's better than the first two movies. Actually, the Nile movie would be the last, then uh, Orient Express would be the second, and this would be like now the best of the three. So basically that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subs subscribe. Um, I have a lot of videos, I have a lot of reviews. I'll be reviewing Expandables, I'll be reviewing Outlaw Johnny Black soon. Um, so thanks for watching. Remember to always watch what you enjoy and enjoy what you watch. I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe.